Hey everyone, uh, in this video, we will gonna talk more about the K-Map because I think I didn't talk enough about it and yeah, how to translate the map that we had into an expression. So, <clears throat> I have a lot, a lot of example here that we are going to map. So, the first thing is this. So, how to map it. So, we know that we can only map one and they are gonna diagonal lines are not allowed and that yeah we should uh, the mission is to to group to make uh, a small groups of yeah wants and to make to minimize the the grouping so so that we can have a smaller and simpler equation so the first thing we will do in this is we will group this yeah, we only group the ones and the ones, so we will group this. And then, in order to translate this into a, an expression, we will just have to re re read the, yeah, the column. So what is the variable that is the same? So as you can see here, the variable that is the same is the x bar because the y bar isn't the same. So we put an x bar then we will put what row what row it is what variable so it is z right here so it belongs to z so z so this is the answer x bar z so that is how you yeah you group and make it into an expression and the next one is here so as you can see we can group it like that but we can group it from here and then here and the next thing that we will yeah we will do is to find what variable is the same so in this is y bar so y bar and what row it belongs so z bar so y bar z bar so i think this is, this is the answer and the next one is yeah, we could try to 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 group it like this, uh, one by one. But in order to make our our expression or in the, our boolean expression much simpler and our circuit will be much more simpler, so we must we can just group this to and this, so we can have a four group. And the next thing that we were gonna do is find the yeah find the the similar variable that they have so we will make it into boolean expression so the next thing that we will do is find the similar so the similar of the two is y bar so y bar and as you can see the rows are we don't have similar rows so this is just the answer, which is y bar. So, on to the four variables came up. So, as you can see, we have ones here. So, in order to group this efficiently, we will group the four. So, we will group this. And in order to find the Boolean expression of that one is to, yeah, to just find the similar in the columns in a row, which is w and z so the answer for this is w z and the next one is this as you can see we have ones in the sides so i we we will apply what we did here we will group it like this so that we the circuit will not get more complicated so and we will find what is the the similar variable which is the x bar x bar so x bar and the similar in the rows which is z also so yeah x bar and z and here we can just group this like this this all we can group it like this and we will find 
uh, this is a special right this is a special because uh, we 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 did group it but the, we we can never find the similar so what we will do here is to find the similar here in the row which is z so the answer is is z only because as you can see there is no similar here but we have a similar here so the answer is z and in this one we can have this here and yes you can see we we occupied it all the four and there is no similar thing here at the column so we will just going to do the answer for this is the y and z bar because yeah they, they don't have similar at the top so and the next one is this uh once in the every side of the core the 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 map so we will apply also this so we by doing this you can just do this you can group the four and then just find the similar also so in this w x x bar right so x bar and then here we will find a similar which is the z bar so z bar so this is the answer and the next one is here we can group this and this thing also and as you can see no similarities here but we have a similar things here which is x bar so the answer for this is just x bar x bar x bar so that is it one thing that i will also mention in this video is that in the decoder design we will encounter don't cares so they don't care as the name suggests we don't care so this is a frequently encountered situation where certain outputs are not specified in a problem such outputs are called yeah the don't cares so for the designer does not care what the outputs are for those for these or particular inputs so so the don't cares is is also in our maps when we do a our decoder design so what we were going to do i i will explain how the, the don't care help us make the circuit simpler so as you can see here we have the ones and we have the ones also so if we group it like this and like this which which is if w y w y bar z the this and then plus w x y bar so w y bar z which is this and if we group also uh, if we group the don't care which is this if we group it so we can group the don't cares with the ones so our sim our circuit will get simpler so as you can see the simpler will get simpler so w and y bar so as you can see this is much more shorter than this so uh, i'm sorry but this is an x <laughs> sorry about this this is an x so like w w then x then y bar so this is an x so that is the don't care so anyways that is the don't care so the don't cares need not be covered by the subcubes selected but are all used only to enlarge subcubes containing ones which must be covered so we don't need to group the don't cares but we can make it group to the ones so that the ones will get much simpler so that we can get much uh, simpler simple boolean expression so yeah that is the purpose of the don't care it is used only to enlarge subcubes containing ones and i guess that's it so we will now uh make a kernel map to our design 
So, see you on the next video.